All right, everybody, welcome back. This is the uh, last update before I go on a, uh, a one-week vacation, so I wanted to finish up a couple of things before uh, before I took off. All right, here you can see the uh, completed uh, yaw system. Uh, got a motor mount, got a servo. There's a, a T-Rex uh, T-Rex 450 uh, spindle that goes through this block of wood, and then into the uh, into the uh, block into the uh, motor mount block there's a, a bearing from a T-Rex 450 blade grip in there I've got my servo all mounted in and then you can kinda see how the uh, how the whole shaft layout system is gonna work <clears throat> alright taking a look at it from the side um, what I did is uh, the the entire thing is made out of uh, 1 16th or I'm sorry the main the main yoke is made out of 1 16th ply and what I did is I uh, used some 1 8th ply on the outside of that uh, basically, just to adapt it to the uh, boom, I'm going to drill a couple of uh, a couple of bolts through the boom, and that will hold the uh, hold the entire tail case to the boom. Um, let's see. I also put in a little bit of balsa filler here on the bottom. Let me move some of these wires out of the way. I put in a little bit of balsa filler on the bottom at the front, just to kind of give it a, a little more finished look. And then I uh, I use some sandpaper to just kind of notch it a little bit for that. Uh, and there's also a piece of balsa filler here. Uh, there's also some uh, filling putty, some uh, really lightweight uh, finishing putty that I put in to kind of fillet the uh, the one eighth balsa uh, doubler down to the uh, to the tail block. So you know, just kind of gives it a little bit more finished look. Um, again, I'm using a Hyperion DS12 servo, and um, you know, everything just kind of uh, everything kind of worked out. It was the perfect spacing and everything. So. Uh, that looks like it'll be pretty good. It'll hold in there real, really nice. Uh, I may go over it with some tape to kind of hold it in place, but I, I don't know if that's going to be necessary, so we'll just we'll have to see. Um, here, let me show you uh, the movement of it. So there you can see the amount of movement that I'm getting. I'm getting about 25 degrees in each direction. Uh, what I'm actually seeing is a little bit more movement to the uh, left than to the right. I'm getting about 27 degrees to the left and about 25, 24 to the right. Um, the only thing I can figure is that maybe some something in the setup wasn't uh, wasn't perfect. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard with the limited tools that I have to to really create a uh, a precision uh, precision machining out of wood. But uh, all in all, I'm I'm pretty happy with the setup. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's going to go pretty good. I did use my uh, Hyperion e-meter to actually program the limits in the servo. I think by default these servos have 90 degrees of travel. I bumped it down to about 30 degrees of travel. So, um, you know, that makes sure that it doesn't bottom out or anything. And that means that I'll be able to use 100% limits on my uh, on my tail rotor, on my gyro, um, without having to worry about overdriving the uh, overdriving the uh, motor mount and binding it on the uh, on the wood. Uh, basically, the next step is just to uh, take the entire thing and cover it with a. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to cover it with two layers of uh, Minwax polycrylic and uh, sand it down. Uh, um, you know, sand it down after the first coat. Add another coat. Uh, sand it down again, and then paint the whole thing. Uh, I'm still working on what kind of colors I'm going to go for, but uh, all in all, this is a pretty nice setup. I'm I'm very happy with the setup, so I can't wait to get this on a, uh, a tricopter and see how well it works. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully, I'll have some updates next week with the uh, the finished product, the motor mounted, the tail boom sanded and painted, and the uh, and the tail yoke uh, sanded and painted. Anyway, thanks for tuning in.